All right, let's continue on with our clearing of the dungeons gone astray. Um, talking about the hotkey and abilities, so. Yeah. You don't see crits like that on Skyrim, do you? Alright, let's see. I think we're out of combat there. Nope, nope. Back in combat. spider here. Oh, okay. Now see it's cautioning about walking away. got in here. Maybe we find some fatty loot. Or maybe I spoke too soon. Oh, there we go. Let's see, we have a dagger 721. That's 927. So, that's better. Go ahead and switch that out. I don't think he's able to dual wield. No. put a lot of these uh, extra items in, like these pillows and blankets and stuff. They don't really have a value, so I mean, I guess it's just, you know, for realism purposes to a certain degree. Let's keep going around here. I don't know if we check, did we check this room here? of interest. Is that door? Don't have enough lock picks. Mm, looks like we got something over here by the table. A helmet. There we go. Actually, is that better? Yeah, it's a little better. Might be able to give this to, um... You can put things on the ground like this and then click on her. And have her pick it up. She can wear that. there. So we'll keep moving along. Alright, this is a wide natural cabin. It must have been discovered years after Abaddon was constructed. It was then converted into one of the feared workshops of the Black Fortress. There are about a dozen stone tables scat scattered about the room. Each has restraints, a glowing enchanted stone, a chair, and materials for taking notes. It is here that the prisoners of Abaddon are brought so that the eyes can use powerful magic to pull the thoughts out of their minds. Once here, a prisoner has no secrets. Everything they planned, everyone they conspired with, all that precious information goes straight to Redbeard. Sounds like an enjoyable place. Alright, let's kind of work our way up and around, kind of. We got some rats over there. Nope, oh, I guess if I had moved a little quicker, we could have got out of the <coughs> range with that, but it's alright. 
Man. Big man. Alright, let's uh Enemy is visible. Okay, so I guess I have to go get this guy. There we go. Any goodies over here? No. Nothing there. Uh oh, we got some blood on the floor here. This doesn't look good. Let's go up around over here. Uh, there is a pale, shaking prisoner hiding in this room. This inmate has been held here for a while. All desire to fight or escape from the mind of Abaddon is completely gone. Your attempts at conversation are met with terrified babbling. The prisoner doesn't match the description of anyone you were sent to find, so you leave. And it says the same thing for that one. So they're just miscellaneous prisoners. I'm going to take some bandages there. Alright. Uh-oh, here we go. Graz, that's one of the guys we're looking for. There is a wretch hiding behind the cabinet, shivering and whimpering. Based on his size, tattoos, scars, you suspect that he has a high status among his people. And yet, Abaddon has reduced this proud creature to a pool of jelly. When he sees you, he shouts, Aye, no hurt, no hurt, I give up. Graz is good wretch. Not hurt, not fight. Take me to my cell, please. Uh, let's see, what are you doing here? As I say, what are you doing here? Hiding. Bad spiders. They wrap me up, me alive, and stuck in webs and waiting to be ate. Bad, bad. Please save me. I was sent to look for you. Yes, take me to safety. I not do the bad things they say. No, I don't. They say they let me go. Go back to tribe. I want tribe. Please, no hurt. Um, what did they think you did? Weapons. I think I get weapons and give to wretches to fight Abaddon. I hear rumors about that. I tell them that all. Just rumors. Wretches flapping big dumb lips. I know nothing real. They believe me. I need to do something with him. Uh, just take me to my cell or leave me alone. No hurt Graz, please. Come with me, stay here, or I better kill you. Yeah, I'll just say stay here, someone will be here for you. He says, yes, I'll hide. You kill pests. Thank you, thank you. First part of your mission is now complete. Now hunt for the other missing prisoners. Alrighty. A oh, potion of vitality. There we go. Alright, so we kind of finished this area over here. Let's we gotta go back in this big room and see what's going on. Got another cabinet over here to check. Uh-oh, you hear a loud clattering as you return to the scrying room. A porticulus to the southeast slowly opens. Odd, it's as if someone was inviting you in. That sounds like trouble. Sheet of paper, pen and ink. Scroll lightning. Who do we get in combat with? An enemy is visible. Oh, way over there. Okay. Okay. 
she missed. Use our ability on him. Rain out. There we go. And nothing right there. Nothing of use. And we got some more spiders and stuff here. for days over here. Alrighty. Did pretty good on all those groups so far. Going this way. Oops. I didn't see any other boxes or chests really to search. Nothing that I saw. Okay. And Nathalie stops walking. You turn to see what is wrong, only to see that she looks thrilled. There is not a touch of doubt or fear in her expression. Why have you stopped? Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong, nothing at all. I'm finally acting. No more lessons, no more of the tedium of being a student. I am doing what I was born to do. <laughs> so she's kind of excited to be on an adventure. Uh, I understand, it is thrilling. Yes, it is exciting. It, it is as exciting as I thought it would be. Destiny is a foolish word, but no. There will be time for this later. I must concentrate. Let us proceed. She walks forward into the shadows. Alright, so she's ready to go. Same thing laying around. Let's kind of keep pushing on the up here and see if we can get areas cleared. No, oh, here we go. There is a prisoner being held in this room. He is a young man dressed in torn clothes of an unfamiliar style. He stands in the middle of a magic circle surrounded by a translucent field of energy. He is staring off into space, and yet he seems to sense that you are there. Inside the field, he moves and talks very slowly. He says in his odd, painfully drawn-out way, I am Lextrum. I am here to teach. Uh... I don't think we want to pull him out of the field. He's probably there for a good reason. <laughs> um, I don't need to know who put him there. It's probably Redbeard. So you said you were here to teach. I am an example. I had a choice. I could choose death or to teach. I teach. So I was frozen here. Frozen, is that the field around you? Yes, it keeps me alive. And you, you move very fast. It is hard to focus on you to understand. Uh, what are you here to teach me? Never fight Redbeard. Do not try to assassinate him. You will be dead, or like me. Redbeard keeps you here as an example. He brings new servants to see me, so they know not to revolt. Um, why did you choose to live? Hope someday I might be free. I thought this is better than the void. I was wrong. Maybe I can free you? Nah. This is unjust. Nobody should be punished like this. This is a punishment for trying to strike down the Keeper. Yeah, I'm gonna say this is unjust. It probably is a little extreme. He makes a hideous gurgling noise. You soon realize that he is laughing. You sound like I did, and I look and look where I am now. You have heard what I say. I return to silence. He closes his eyes. The conversation ends. 
Alright, so luckily he didn't make me do anything stupid there. Oh, wait, we got a book over here, it looks like. This room is far older than the other parts of the dungeon. It looks like it dates back to the earliest days of Abaddon. It seems to be some sort of ceremonial chamber. Perhaps rituals of great import, like the swearing in of new keepers, happen here. Alas, alas! before you can, it can be used for anything dignified, it will require quite a cleaning. The escaped wretches to the south have been acting in a way, and have been acting in an aggressively disgusting way here. Okay. Look at the map here. Okay, so we're kind of up here. So we're kind of working our way down to the next prisoner. So let's take a look in here and see what's going on. That's worth 30. And yeah, we'll take some candles. Oh, we got a bit of a battle here. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to pause because the distance, they're not going to be able to travel and hit me, I don't think. There we go. And then I'll get first hit on this guy. And we will use her daze again. The sorcerer's daze can definitely be useful in multi-mob fights like this. Blow. Ooh, one shot of that guy. Her stuff is on cooldown now. But we took him out. Oh, look, we have some new armor here. Which is probably an upgrade. Yeah, it definitely is. Throw that on the ground for her, maybe. An 11 to 33 short sword. That is nice. There we go. I'll switch to her, let her get this. I don't know if it's actually better for her or not. No, actually it's worse, so she'll just hold it to sell it. That's fine. So we got a little bit of loot off of those guys. Not bad. Oh, it looks like there's some stuff laying on the table here. What we got? Alright, some iron gauntlets. And some leather gloves. So we'll give him those and give her these. They're about 2% better. And he's still way below his encumbered range, so... That is fun. Let's take a look at this room opening up. Oh, look, we got a guy on the floor over here. Let's see what's going on there. Studded leather armor. That's even better than what I'm wearing, but it's super heavy. Well, no, no, it's, oh, no, it's value is better. Okay, wait a minute. 15%, 18%, so... That is better. Okay. Let's see. So we're just about down to the next guys. 